At Rossonville Elementary School, Principal Tracy Bryant is constantly working to ensure her students show up each and every day, and for good reason. Students that have chronic attendance problems are usually the ones that you see with academic challenges. She is not alone in Wayne County. 114,000 students, or 43% of all students, are considered chronically absent. It's 18 absences. So from August to June, if scholars um, accrue 18 absences, that's considered chronic. As for why, they could point to many reasons. The car goes down, no gas money, life happens, they're not able to get them to school. The main one being the pandemic. Before COVID, Roughly 16% of kids were chronically absent. In 2021 and 2022, that number jumped to 49%. They're starting to see those numbers fall slightly, and the Wayne County Regional Educational Service Agency is offering up pilot programs to get kids excited to learn. Students that are disengaged oftentimes feel like I'm bored or I don't like school um, or having conflicts with peers are sometimes the reasons why students don't want to be in school. Bryant speaks from experience. Her fifth grade son, Braden, enrolled in the three-week pilot program over the summer. It was kind of done in a fun way that was interesting for kids. And that's the, that's the most important piece, high interest levels. She says the excitement trickled into the school year. The excitement is there and they won't even realize that we got them. Once we get them excited, they want to be here. And the hope is when this strategy is paired with teacher parent engagement, the number of kids chronically absent will continue to go down. Let us as the educators do, do our job. All we need you to do is get them to us. And both of the principals from Wayne County say the best thing that parents can do is set a routine at both nighttime for bed and in the morning. They say kids thrive and crave that consistency and those expectations, guys. And one thing that they hope this year will change a little bit of that trend that we were talking about mm -hmm. is the fact that all schools statewide now offer free lunches for them. Oh. So hopefully that will be another barrier broken down and get those kids back oh, in the classroom 40, consistently. 43% yeah. of these uh, of, of this truancy rate here or this absentee rate, right. it means fewer meals too and yeah, kids exactly. it's like a chicken or the egg you right. need you need food to think and to function and you hope that people know that that's one great reason but we have it. these truancy laws in yeah. place i mean it, it seems like that needs to be enforced but maybe they aren't it's just not even working yeah it's just it, it's not a consistent absence it's just looking at the whole year and if you're 18 or more and they're maybe they're staggered about like one one absence yeah. here or there but they add up in terms of like getting that consistent knowledge and you don't want to play catch up the entire year right and it's only gonna hurt the kids in the long run that's for sure.